Um, good morning, RCSD families, superintendent, board commissioners, community partners, and staff. Thank you all for joining us this morning. We have a wonderful program set for you today, which includes some introductions and keynotes from um, a commissioner and our superintendent. We have workshop sessions with breakout rooms and they cover the following topics, remote learning technology, remote schooling, specialized services, social emotional services, student engagement, and then we also have our uh, breakout session for our Spanish speaking families. Without further ado, I want to bring to you our commissioner, Ricardo Adams, to say a few words. Good morning. I'm Ricardo Adams, I'm a school board commissioner and I chair the Community and Intergovernmental Relations Committee, also known as the CIGR. I am also a parent of a soda graduate, and I have two daughters at East High School right now. I'm 12 and 14 years old. On behalf of the Board of Education, I would like to welcome our families, community, and district staff to our annual Family Engagement Day. We look forward to engaging with you receiving your input and responding to questions. This day has traditionally been a day to spend time together and we are continuing the tradition, even as we have transitioned the event to be virtual this year. We wanna continue working together and we encourage your participation in these opportunities to support our children, including this Wednesday, November 18th at the State Monitor's public hearing on the district's academic and fiscal plan. More information on that will be shared later on today. Um, and until then, please continue to join us as we move forward together now. Um, I'm gonna pass it back over to Khadijah. Thank you, Commissioner Adams. Our next speaker is our superintendent, Dr. Myers Small. Thank you, Khadijah. Thank you, Commissioner Adams. It is truly an honor to be here. During the celebration of Kwanzaa, it is customary to greet friends and family, family with the Swahili phrase, Habari Ghani, meaning what's the news? To respond, one would typically answer with the principle of the day, and there are seven of them. Today, the Rochester City School District's news is a focus on unity or umoja, as well as collective work and responsibility or ujima between the district and our parents and caregivers. Parent and caregiver support is critical to the success of students and our tenants of National Parent Involvement Day. Today is a time for all parents and caregivers to reflect on ways they can get more involved in the education of their children. We know that there is extensive research on parent and caregiver and, and involvement. And, and it shows that students achieve more in school when their parents are in, actively involved in their education. I will briefly discuss the critical role that parents and caregivers can play in a child's education and offer just a few practical tips that parents can use to become involved. Number one, we know that academic achievement increases when parents are involved in their children's education. The more intensively involved parents are, the greater the positive impact on academic achievement. And that looks, uh, that can be accomplished in many ways, whether it's participating in open houses or curriculum nights or, or coming to school and regularly interacting with school staff. Parent and caregiver engagement leads to better classroom behavior. Parent engagement not only in, enhances the academic performance of a student, but it also has a positive influence on student attitude and behavior. A parent's interest and encouragement in a child's education 
can affect the child's attitude towards school, classroom conduct, self-esteem, absenteeism, and motivation. Number three, it's important to stay engaged in your child's education from preschool all the way through high school. Parent engagement can make a positive difference at every age level along the academic continuum. Parental and caregiver involvement tends to be the greatest with young children and unfortunately tends to taper off as children get older. Studies have shown, however, that the involvement of parents in middle and high school is critically and equally important. In high school, for example, a parent's encouragement can influence whether a student stays in school or decides to drop out. S similarly, a child may consider going to college more seriously when parents and caregivers show interest in the child's academic achievements and talk with their child about the benefits of a college education. Number four, reading together at home greatly improves reading skills. Reading in particular improves greatly when parents and children read together at home. Reading aloud with your child contributes significantly to their reading abilities. Number five, schools can encourage parent and, and caregiver involvement in, in many ways. That's our responsibility. Significant parental involvement is most likely to develop when schools in the district actively seek out ways to get parents involved and offer professional, professional learning opportunities such as today to assist parents on how to get involved in their child's education. Number six, parental and caregiver and engagement can help lift teacher and staff morale. Schools and teachers benefit from parental involvement because involved parents develop a greater appreciation for the challenges that teachers face in the classroom. And I know this rings to be particularly true given that we are in a remote environment. Communication between home and school helps the teacher and other staff get to know that particular student better which in turn allows the teacher to teach the student much more effectively. Communication can also help to dispel any mistrust or misperceptions that may exist between the uh, teaching staff, other staff and parents and caregivers. And lastly, parental engagement benefits, mutually benefits both children and parents. Becoming involved in your child's education helps parents to get the satisfaction of making significant contributions to their child's education and future. They have a better understanding of the school curriculum and activities and can become much more comfortable and knowledgeable about the quality of education that their child is receiving. Spending more time with your children enables you to be able to communicate better with your children and the school. With that said, we are offering six amazing workshop sessions, which are hosted by our staff and our commissioners on the Board of Education. Each workshop contains important information that helps to be a support to you and your child. Before I turn the program back over to Ms. Muhammad, I'd like to just offer a few thank yous, certainly to our commissioners, President White, Vice President Elliott, Commissioner LeBron, Commissioner Powell, Commissioner Malloy, and particularly Commissioner Adams, who has spearheaded this opportunity today. Their participation and support, not only for this program, the Office of Parent Engagement and our families is unwavering. I'd also like to thank the Office of Parent Engagement they planned all of the details and put this wonderful opportunity together today for us. I'd like to thank the staff conducting workshops and the Office of Communications for setting up the platform that allows us to still interact with parents in this virtual framework. I also would be remiss if I didn't thank my late father, Dr. Earl Myers, as well as my mother, Clara Myers, for being my very first and very best teachers. My mom at 83 years old continues to be my biggest cheerleader. 
And finally, thank you to all of the parents and caregivers who are raising, loving, supporting, and encouraging both our current and next generation of leaders. Please enjoy your day. I turn the program back over to Ms. Muhammad.